Okay. Uh, welcome to today's training. Today I want to make um, a, a fabric art. It's just going to look like art, but I'll be using a material for it. Okay. And then to make it stand, that is the crown. The crown is the top. So to create the crown, I will use chest wording, the thick chest wording. And I'm going to fold what I have into two. What I have now, I'll fold it into two. So I have about 13.5 for the width or say the height and then the length about 25. So this 14.5 I'll fold it into two so that it can be covered. You can see I already have material at the back. And then the material I will be using for the main project is this other gold material I just brought in now. <coughs> so the gold material, I will be ranging it on top of this one. You can see how I just folded now. This is the height of the cap, like 13.5 divided by 2 less than seven all right so you can have height of five six is okay so this is the height and this is how it's going to be on a fold so that both the back and the front is covered all right so we'll do it like this we already know the middle the midpoint eh? so we're going to pleat this material fold the first part out because like i said it's going to be on a fold so half of the chest wording is where we fold this material now on so that we can fold it up upwards when we are done hmm? so we begin to pleat as we pleat we will sew as we pleat we will sew we will pleat and sew, pleat and sew. Remember, right, right now, I open the chest wording. You know, I'm pleating on half of the chest wording. So you pleat and sew, pleat and sew, so that it will not be too thick. We we'll continue, and your pleat can go to any direction. You can pleat upwards or you can pleat it downwards that is you can pleat facing down or you pleat uh, facing up hmm? so but the most important thing is that as you pleat you sew then this part i'm holding now we are going to use it to cover the top so we are not going to trim it off we are not trimming it off it's going to cover the top okay so this is how it will look. Fold it upwards. When we are done sewing, then we take that one inward. So let me sew it and come so that you will get the explanation where. So look, look at it. I've sewn. So you can see that it's half. If you look at the part I sew, you see that it is half. So the second part, the second part is going to be a cover at the back. This, this second part, half, yes, this part I'm holding now, will be the cover at the back. So you can see that both the back and front is wrapped. And then look again, please. So you see the part where the arrow is, that's the base. All right. And then so the part where again. the arrow is, we, we saw it. All right so once we sew it it will become one once we sew it it will become one 
like this so with that we range the pleat my own pleat now is facing top we range it and then you see the base there now you fold it up you fold the base up just like that so you can sew it for the person who is wearing it the one folding it or you can fold it and sew or you can fold it and sew so right now i fold so all you need to do is take a measurement that will allow it to sit on the head of your client you can you can close it with 11 or you can close with 12 you know it's just going to enter the head to the forehead so don't go and close with 10.5 it's not a stretchy fabric so close with 12 or 11.5 and that is how you sew it simple just like your normal cap then we gather this part and it's ready so that we cover the top and then the front will sit or you can open it like this without having to without folding it you can sew it without folding so you fold after sewing like this you understand then you can fold it after sewing okay and then you turn it up after sewing so this is it we just where we join it now we and turn it up you can just use patches to cover it and then we go ahead and attach the uh, face net we just cut the face net to size depending on how you want it you can, you can use maybe 15 inches 18 20 just how you want it this is it but the i used um five years for this project please don't mind my voice i have a, my voice is cracked so i used five years for this project so you should know that that is a lot five years i use a lot so after doing that i took ball you know the ball we use for embellishment start plucking it out and just using hot glue to fix it to the net continuous like that depending on how you want it if you want it to be so, so much add very well if you don't want it to be so much you are done so this is it this is the finishing see it came out very well covering the eye all right thank you